Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Level Up series and this series is specially on Riverman board problems. So every day in the next 4-5 days, I will be covering one or two problems on the river board Riverman problem and here is the first question. I request each one of you who is preparing for Physics Olympiad or who is preparing for high level physics should pause this video, try this question and if you are able to solve it, good. If you are not, then look at the solution, but try to understand and try to imagine where you went wrong and what happened and why you were not able to think in a particular way. Okay, so the question is pretty simple. A man starts at A, which is basically at one end of the river and he tries to reach to B. And the question says that you have to find condition. You have to find condition such that a man reaches man reaches B in shortest possible time in shortest possible time so this is the question now I hope if you are a physics lover you will appreciate that this problem is not very different from something that you have studied in your past just try to give it a thought and in this question the river is at rest, which means it's a still water. The velocity of the river is zero. So the river is not flowing. The man has to swim across the river, reach to B at the, in the shortest possible time. Okay. I hope everyone has given the thought. So here I am actually, um, just try to imagine what happens to light and have you studied St Snell's law? If you have studied Snell's law, you will find the answer in the easiest way because you know the result. Snell's law says that V1 upon sine alpha 1 velocity of light in one medium upon sine alpha 1 which is this alpha is equal to V2 by sine alpha 2. So without even using pen and copy, if you remember the result, you can easily solve this question and you can tell me the answer. It is V1 upon sine alpha 1 is equal to V2 upon sine alpha 2. And this is the famous Snell's law. And physics is so beautiful that laws are applicable everywhere. Right? It's not only applicable to light. So if you have to travel into two mediums and... You have to find the shortest time. Obviously, we know that light travels along the straight line and it actually uh, also tries to follow the shortest possible path. So therefore, this or shortest possible time. So this exactly is uh, something very closer to Snell's law. And in fact, it is Snell's law. Now let's derive it. Uh, if you have not already done Snell's law, let's derive it. So what actually, if you see this condition, the man can travel along this line let me change the color okay so man can travel here and then travel here man can travel here and then travel here obviously it will not happen so it it has to travel here and then travel here so it all possible paths are available to us or he can try to directly move in a straight line towards b so these are not possible uh, one of the ways is possible and one of the way will give me the shortest possible time. Okay. So let us try to find out how. So if I say, so you can clearly see the variable. Variable is this X because it, this position can change. It can be here. It can be here anywhere. And then if this is X, let's say this is some length L. So it will be equal to L minus X. So what is constant? The constants are D l is a constant and this let's say i call it a this will be a constant because it is already given that he has to reach to b which is at a d plus a distance away from one end of the river so now let's try to derive it uh, if i simply try to derive it if this is d uh, let's look at the first triangle the first triangle, this is D, this is X and this is alpha 1. So this is equal to D square plus X square under root. Okay. And in the second triangle, in the second triangle, uh, 
this angle was alpha 2 so this angle is alpha 2 this is a this is l minus x and therefore it it was given that this was alpha 2 okay and this length will be equal to this length will be equal to l minus x whole square plus a square under root so now time total time will be equal to this path let's call it o let me call it o so a o uh, upon the velocity so a o is d square plus x square under root upon velocity which is v1 plus the another length which is ob ob is l minus x whole square plus a square under root upon v2 so this is the total time now we have to find the shortest possible time so clearly this time is a function of x and if time is a function of x i can find shortest possible time dt by dx and equate it to equal to zero so clearly i can uh, use dt by dx equal to zero if i do that what will happen clearly you see it will be equal to x upon under root of d square plus x square into 1 by v1 minus l minus x and you can do all these uh, derivations on your own upon under root of l minus x whole square plus a square multiplied by 1 by v2 now clearly if you look at this i can say that uh, this is this whole thing right so clearly x upon x upon under root of d square plus x square in this triangle is sine alpha 1 so i will say sine of alpha 1 upon v1 is equal to again here l minus x l minus x upon this is equal to sine alpha 2 so i can say this is sine alpha 2 upon v2 and therefore we get the famous snell's law which is which states that v1 upon sin alpha 1 is equal to v2 upon sin alpha 2 or i can say that v1 upon v2 is equal to sin alpha 1 upon sin alpha 2 and here is our result so clearly you can see that if you know one concept of physics right let me just reduce it so if you know one concept of physics you can apply it to anywhere and therefore students you have to just keep your minds open because once your mind is open you can really visualize physics you should start applying one part of physics to another part of physics because everything is linked and and that's that's has been the quest of all the scientists to find one unifying equation which can solve almost every problem of physics so we're still in that search but all the very best to all those who love physics and again we'll see you soon with another problem and i will give you a very unique solution so if you're staying uh, if you're actually attaching yourself to this channel uh, it would be great because we'll be talking about a lot of river boat problems and some very unique solutions to those problems okay all the best and see you soon and if you have loved the session please give me a thumbs up thank you bye bye take care